Thanks for tuning in to Hook Trigger Trail. I'm your host Mason and today we're going to unbox a Stevens 320 and 20 gauge. So we just have this as it came from good old Walmart. Two tabs. Do you flip? And there she be. Everything's bagged up. Have a little sleeve on the magazine too. Little warning tag there. Take the cap off so you can get the sleeve out of the way. No, he's barking. What else do we have in here? We have some ear pro, always good, and a choke tube wrench. So that's assuming this thing has removable choke tubes, which is good. Um, you're not going to get that in like the 12 gauge security model or anything like that. I'm sure you would get it in the regular field model. This is a uh, field uh, 20 gauge. There's your choke tube right there. Oh yeah, you need the wrench for it. Let's see. Now I do believe these have the threads that'll take Mossberg AccuChoke tubes. And I did buy a couple of those. So maybe we'll see how the fit is compared to what comes with this. They ship them with one modified and a bead sight. And I also have a sight to replace for that because I just don't like these little brass beads. I like something like a fiber optic. What else do we have? Ear Pro, good old manual, and then we have your state warnings pamphlet, registration card. Um, not very pertinent to me. Doesn't look like anything else under there except for you have your receiver lock there. Okay. Well, that ripped off relatively easy. And I guess these are kind of modeled after the Winchester 1300s. And the Winchester and Mossberg style stops, I get ooh, magnets, are, are interchangeable a lot of times. Sometimes you might just need a little shim. Look at that. Magnet time. This thing put together. See how it feels. We have a swivel stud up front on the magazine cap and just a fixed swinging stud down here on the stock. Make sure show clear just so we know we're all set there. And let's see, I'm not sure what type of rails that takes or if I could find one. Have yet, have yet to study that yet. I like the pole set up nice. One thing that I do like about this is it comes far back and it's got a nice long fore end on it very comfortable for me i have stubby arms so this would be nice dig that a lot let me go grab a choke tube and unbox a couple of those and see how well they fit the barrel compared to the other ones I have my handy dandy bench magnet right there. And let's see what we got here. This is the Aki Choke. This appears to be the newer packaging from Mossberg. The Fitz 500 and 505 Aki Choke models says 505 Maverick 88 20 gauge Aki Choke models only. But I want to know how that would be different from this Aki Choke. I don't get it. So let's see.
thread size looks the same. Um, however, we do have a little bit more on the end there compared to this one. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Let's see how that screws in. And if it's going to stop. No, it appears it seats all the way in there. All right. And it fits flush just like the other one. Okay, so there is no difference. So that length that we have on the end of this, the uh, newer style, that says 500 and 505 only, ignore that. It's all the same. And the one that I just put in is going to be the improved cylinder. So it ships with the modified. I figured that'd be a little tight for some stuff. The improved cylinder I might like better if I wanted to do some skeet shooting, trap, sporting clays, something like that. And then I also got a full, which I might like better for squirrels or rabbits for hunting. So this is kind of going to be what I have in between my Saiga 410 and any of my 12 gauges. Let's see how good this one fits. Okay, that's got some rust on it. So this must have been sitting. No, that's just orange paint off of that thing. So okay, good. Not rust. Okay. That rust is making it feel a little bit gritty, but I'll go through and clean this thing out of all of the uh, stuff. Yeah, there's. I'm not really getting any resistance here this choke tube key feels like it fits better <laughs> in the grooves there this one's not swinging in as well and I think it's gummed up a little bit Probably get one of them Carlson's speed wrenches. Because I always like having multiple different choke tubes for everything. I believe this will also take um, Mossberg stocks too. So any stock you'd want to get for it. As long as it's a Mossberg stock, it should fit on this. So that fits nice and flush and tight. Full choke. So that's good. Improved cylinder. This one does not say modified, but there is some gunk in there. It's a little different. I might find a way to see if I can etch mod in there on that. Other than that, that's all I have for the unboxing. Hopefully we get some shooting done with it soon. Thanks a lot for tuning in.